This is Brock from Zeppelin Design Labs, and in this video I want to demonstrate how to calibrate the VPM1, which is our mod for the Ernie Ball Jr. volume pedal. Because these Ernie Ball volume pedals can vary slightly, and of course the mod can be installed with some variation, the calibration process just identifies what a linear sweep looks like for your particular pedal. Calibrating the VPM1 involves programming five equidistant points along the pedal's sweep. And the microcontroller will adjust these five points in different ways to create the other tapers. Now typically, a volume pedal uses its full sweep to run from minimum volume to maximum volume. But with a VPM1, you can set the minimum volume point and maximum volume point to any position along the sweep. To help with this calibration procedure, we supply a calibration card, which gives four different preset ranges of treadle movement between the minimum volume and maximum volume. You'll notice how each colored line has a different endpoint setting the maximum volume position. For this demonstration, we'll use the red line, which places the maximum volume point at the lowest possible treadle position. So by calibrating to the red line, we'll use a treadle's full range of motion. Let me show you how the calibration process is done. All right, we like to set the minimum volume point to about half an inch or 12 millimeters up from the bottom of the treadle sweep. Otherwise, depending on the variations in your pedal, the minimum volume may not get all the way down to complete silence. First of all, I'm gonna put a piece of tape on the back of this card so I can stick it in place when it's in the right position. All right, with the pedal on its side and the treadle in your chosen minimum volume position, slide the calibration card under the VP Junior with the black line on the card lined up with the top of the chassis. And you're gonna slide the card toward the axle until the top dot on the red line is lined up with the bottom of the treadle, as you can see here. And now we'll stick the card in place with a tape to hold it in place. And as you can see, when I close the pedal all the way, the bottom dot on the red line is lined up with the bottom of the treadle. So the red line will give the pedal the widest sweep range. And if I wanted the sweep to not be as wide, I would have a maximum volume point set a little bit further up, and then I would choose to use the yellow or the green line. With the card in place and the pedal on its side, hold the taper button down as you power the pedal up, and you'll notice the red light starting to flash. That's indicating that it's in calibration mode. All right, line up the treadle with the top point on the red line and press the button. You can see that the red light flashes again, indicating that that point was stored in the microcontroller's memory. You can do the same thing for the next point down on the red line. And just kind of repeat this process for the other three points. As each point is stored in the memory. And after this last point is recorded, you'll press the button one more time. And you'll see the LED cycle through all its colors, confirming that the calibration process is complete. That's it, your VPM1 is now ready to use. Since these points are stored in the microcontroller's memory, calibrating the VPM1 is only necessary once, but you may want to experiment with different sweep ranges to find out what, what works best for you. That's it for now, thanks for watching. Enjoy your VPM1, and please visit zeppelindesignlabs.com for more information about the VPM1 and other products.